We have some amazing kids, problem sure, but they are really great kids. Kids who really want an education. The fact that they are able to overcome some of the most challenging circumstances that you and I have never experienced, they're resilient. I don't even think they see their own strength, but we really are blessed to have a group of talented students academically and otherwise to work with. Education is the civil rights problem of our age, right? So we may not have to sit on the back of the bus. We may not have to go to school only for black students. We may be able to drink out of whatever water fountain, but there's no way that education is equal in this country. There's no reason why students on the North side have some access to some of the things that they do and students here in Inglewood don't. Our kids may not know that because they haven't been a lot of other places, but as adults we do. And so we try to level that playing field. We have an auditorium, which a lot of schools don't have the luxury of having, but it was in disrepair. And so one of the first investments that we made with the funds was to purchase new stage curtains, as well as window coverings. Next, we're going to get the spotlights fixed. We had already purchased a new sound system in there. So once we're done with everything we want to do in the auditorium, we feel like we'll have a state-of-the-art assembly hall where our students can be on stage and perform and we can bring our parents in as well as community members to see uh, the things that our students are doing. The next thing that we did was we brought a lot more um, arts into the building. For the upper grade students, our sixth and seventh grade girls have already had hip hop and African American dance. For our fourth and fifth graders, they will be um, participating in a program called Dancing with Class where they are going to be learning about ballroom dancing. So we've been able to really bring that out and see how our students um, love it and see how quickly they're learning it. And it's bringing out another part of their brain and their talent that we had not seen previously. In addition to the dance classes, we've been able to focus on our social emotional. And so we've been able to um, implement a girls mentoring program where we have a young lady who comes in, Ms. Chapman, and she does like an etiquette program, but it's so much more than, you know, what we think of etiquette, you know, how to, which fork to eat with. <laughs> She's dealing with social media etiquette. She's mm -hmm. dealing with um, conflict resolution. And so they have really been engaging with her. We want to expose our students and have them discuss what it is that they really want to do. It's well beyond the K through eight that we have, a pre-K through eight program that we have here. We feel that the things that we're doing for our students is impacting their next eight years after us. Where do you get those type of opportunities if we don't expose them to it? So I think that they're finding their voice. Um, they're realizing the things that they're talented in and what they want to do with their lives. And I think it goes much further than elementary school. So I think we're, we're charting some courses of some of our kids' lives at this stage by bringing all of these opportunities to the school. My dream is to be a basketball player. That's my main dream. If I ever make it there, I'm gonna like help Everybody, like anybody I run across that need help, I'm gonna help them. I'm gonna give back to the school, it's like Chance Rapper. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just help everybody. Me, I would just set up more groups for people to talk and express themselves because that's where a lot of problems come in at schools. Yeah, thank you for everything. And to say to the world, follow your dreams because you can change the world too. Yes. Just like do whatever you, you believe. If any kids is watching this, do whatever you feel it. You and don't do let whatever you put your mind to. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Keep going. Chance the Rapper, we want to thank you so much for everything that you've given us, the money, and Ogilvy just wants to thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.